What's on your mind, XX? Look, I'm not great with words. I'm more comfortable shooting people than talking to them. I'll just say that right up front. But sometimes you have to say what's on your mind because people need to hear it. It's all right, XX. Whatever's on your mind, you can tell me. Yeah, I'm getting to it. I'll just lay it out there. I look up to you. Now, before you give me shit about going soft or getting all emotional, just let me finish. All my life, I've always looked up to father. You already know this. What you didn't know is, I was a lot less sure about you. I followed your orders because I had to, but you seemed, I don't know, unprepared. You looked lost and confused, maybe even scared. I didn't think you could handle this life and the work I do. I figured you'd just slow me down, or get in my way. How about now? Has your opinion improved? Well, that's what I'm trying to say. If I've learned anything since we've been running together, it's this. Holy shit, was I wrong about you. You're as tough and determined as anyone I've met. Maybe more. Given all the things that have happened to you, and everything you've lost. That's impressive. What I mean is, you have a sort of focus, a will. I think you could accomplish anything that you set your mind to. I'm not only sure that you can handle the task of running the Institute, I think you'll be the best leader we've ever had. Speechless X6. Well, that's a first. Just kidding, ma'am. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for hearing me out. Now let's get back to work.
I have strict shoot over here. Sorry, 
describe Halen. This location is structurally sound and highly defensible. I've decided to establish our headquarters here for the time being. After Halen identified the Corvega factory in Lexington as a possible site containing viable pre-war technology, we initiated a sweep and retrieve operation. I had Dawes do a site survey, and he discovered it was being held by a large force of raiders. I gave the go-ahead, and we attempted a breach. As we approached, our squad was hit with gunfire. Knight Warwick was wounded, so I decided to fall back to Cambridge. During our retreat, Knight Brack stepped on a landmine. Scribe Halen attempted to treat him, but Brack succumbed to his wounds and died. Let it be noted for the record that Halen is to be commended. It's been two days since our failed operation at Corvega, and I'm sad to report that Knight Warwick has died. His gunshot wounds had left him paralyzed and internally bleeding. Scribe Halen informed me that he was suffering and had less than a 5% chance of recovery. I authorized her to inject him with an overdose of painkiller and put him to rest. I'd once again like to commend Scribe Halen for her efforts in keeping Warwick alive and for following my final orders without question.
physician lost approximately two quarts of blood, was able to supplement with emergency blood packs. Torso wounds caused massive internal bleeding, attempted to implement internal sutures, but facility is insufficient. Surgery of that magnitude due to patient's pain and quality of life. Commanding officer ordered me to administer overdose of painkiller for euthanization purposes. Dose administered 49 hours after incident. Subject died peacefully. Subject was struck by a blow to the head from a super mute sledge like weapon. Head mass was completely destroyed, therefore, treatment was impossible. Note that subject neglected to wear protective armor helmet as recommended. Subject suffered multiple lacerations to chest and torso from feral ghoul attack, attempted rapid response triage, but evisceration caused massive trauma to several of the subject's internal organs. High levels of G-band radiation exposure were also present. Recommend corpse be disposed of as soon as possible. Subject stepped on explosive device causing catastrophic trauma to left and right legs, severe trauma to torso and left arm, and major trauma to right arm and chest. Rapid response triage used to cauterize open wounds, administered multiple stim pack meds, but damage was unrecoverable. Patient died approximately three minutes after incident. Patient stated symptoms of head pain and inability to sleep. No visible signs of trauma, radiation exposure, or biological contamination. Diagnosis in field difficult, but suggest battle fatigue and stress, probable causes. Recommended 24 hours bed rest, but patient refused. Poor dance. Patient sustained laceration to chest area, bruising to arms, minor concussion, and minor fracture to right arm. Rapid response trauma was successful. Minimal blood loss sustained. Administered stim pack meds to stimulate bone region and wound closure. Full recovery expected. Scribes in the order think I'm out of my mind joining Dance's recon team, but I refuse to miss out on the opportunity. I'm going to be the fourth scribe in Brotherhood history to travel to the Commonwealth for research and collection. I don't care how dangerous it is out there. If I was scared, I would have signed up for desk detail. Commonwealth is an amazing place, unlike the capital wasteland, which was nearly obliterated by nuclear weapons. This place has areas that are virtually untouched by time and brimming with technological artifacts. I think I've cataloged more in my short time here than in my entire tour of the Citadel. I don't know if I'm imagining things, but I'm pretty sure Proctor Quinlan 
sounds a bit jealous when I've been radioing in my reports. Knight Warwick was shot a few days ago. He was in a lot of pain, but there was only so much I could do to ease his suffering. Dance ordered me to put him down. I know dance can be so damn cold sometimes, but in this case, I think he's right. It was against everything I've been taught, but Warwick would never have made the trip back home alive. Maybe if I'd done a better job, Warwick wouldn't have been so bad off. I wish Kate was here. He would have fixed everything. Some kind of a fault dweller wandered into our compound today and helped us put down some barrels. It was nice to have some help for a change. I think she's going to stick around for a while. Dance seems to have latched onto her, but Riss thinks our new friend might be up to something. I think this new girl's okay, but I'll keep an eye on her just in case. Log entry 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. Excellent. Salvage. 
statement of Mr. N. Fredericks. One pamphlet, your rights and work, recovered from suspect's desk. One pamphlet, unionized today, recovered from suspect's desk. One set of clothes abandoned at sea. Yes. 
has been expanded to accommodate several wounded soldiers at once. These modifications expanded all the materials provided to us by command, but we feel they've been put to good use. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. Great work! Malice set off as soon as you activated the beacon. By now, she should already be stripping the place down. Huh. You know, after we're done getting what we need for the hub, no reason we couldn't keep sending Mala out, gather other useful materials. But let's worry about that later. For now, you ready for the next locator beacon? Great. Here's the second beacon. Good luck. Hey. Well, that's a few gunners that won't be attacking our settlements anytime soon. When we all work together, the bad guys don't stand a chance. Well, you ready for some more work? The Minutemen never rest. I'll mark it on your map. Use all the support we can get. So see what you can do to help. Hey there. Is there something you need? Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you.
This safe house is for military personnel only. Citizens, including non-military family members, will be turned away from matters of national safety. Checkpoint break. Coordinates are available in your emergency handbook. 